Hi everyone, I'm Willy and with me, I'm very excited to meet uh, Sakura. Hello guys, I'm Sakura. I'm a DJ and I'm also an OF content creator. Yep, so today we are here to find out more about her from the person herself. Okay, so without further ado, the first question our viewers have mm. for you is, uh, could you tell our viewers a bit about yourself? A bit about myself? Mm. Sorry, I DJ, I do OnlyFans and I also cosplay. I also stream, yeah, I do, I do quite a number of things together. Like, it's my hobby, I think I enjoy doing all of it, and yeah, for DJing, I've been doing it around for six years. Uh, for OnlyFans, I started doing during COVID. Mm. Uh, so it's maybe like two years. Very recent. So how would your close friends describe you? My close friends? Mm. I think they'll think I'm crazy, like I'm super crazy. So what are the crazy things you have done? So many, but I think like mm. I'm, I'm very loud when I'm with my close friends. Yeah. So crazy and always party, more crazy. yeah, always party, crazy. Yeah, very crazy, always party. <laughs> always party. always partying. I see, I see. So outside uh, your work and outside other than partying, how do you spend your time? You mean like during my free time? Yes. I think I actually stay at home a lot, like when I, in the, especially in the daytime. Mm. I'm a night owl, so in a day I really stay at home a lot. Like, if I'm completely out of work, mm. I, I really try to rest up as much as I can. I see. Yeah. So currently, do you have a boyfriend? Don't have. Don't have, don't guys. Have. Really don't have. This is the very important question I know you all want to know, okay? So, what kind of guy would attract you? Oh, this is not good. I like the tattoo back boys in the club, you know? Oh. And I've seen that on so many videos before. It's, it's, don't. And my friends will scold me, they'll scold me and crazy. Oh, scold you for liking that that category of Yeah, because I will always go for the Zanan. <laughs> Zanan, by the way, is uh, not good guys. <laughs> uh, not good guys, but uh, okay, so you like a bit Zanan, a bit uh, Playboy, is it? Can a bit, uh, very unhealthy. Very unhealthy. Not like same industry, like, like all the clubbing, all my fans, a lot of very cute ones. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So what were you doing before your current careers? What do you mean? Uh, say before you started your DJing, uh, what were you doing? I was underage! Uh, studying and... Studying okay, okay. <laughs> I was underage, like really like, like mm. I was... Yeah, trying to live my childhood, but like the moment I hit 18 years old, I joined the DJ agency. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so previously you were studying what kind of courses on that kind of Courses? Like fashion mm. design is not really related. But I found out like it's not really to what I want to do and mm. when they recruited me, I thought it's an opportunity to try out. I see, I see. Like music. I like music. So you really just started from scratch? Yeah, I started from scratch. Okay, and how many hours say you put into practice this DJ per day? Or... Oh, I, I don't count but when you practice, like it really takes very long time. Especially if you learn how to produce or let's say at the start because you need to download a lot of songs So I would say it's very different throughout the years At the start when you start with like let's say you got zero songs in your Macbook mm -hmm. uh, You have to put in a lot of time And then you have to, to practice. listen to so many of them to see which feats and you know what kind of music for what kind of mood you know? Yeah, so yeah. like when, I'm, when, when I haven't hit 18 I was already like like already joined the agency thing So it's yeah I've been doing this for quite a while Cool, cool what are the common feedback you have received in both your careers? Both my careers? Mm, I think for the very traditional family or household, like they will think it's not sustainable because it's a freelance job. Mm. Right. So they are concerned about your income? I think income family. and like especially for OnlyFans, like mm. uh, not many people would be able to accept that and I understand that also. So it's very different from like what people do conventionally, and I and I get it. I get it. Mm. Mm. So 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 what what do they say to you like, uh, you know, don't do this uh, or, or how you know like your the relatives will see uh, that kind of thing. Yeah yeah, I think they are like very nice people, and there are, there are mm. people who are very harsh on you. So like re they really throw hate comments at you like, "Tiao bu shi, tiao bu shi." Nobody wants to marry you, you know that kind. Okay, so yeah. that's the worst comment for you. No, like they, they, they really hold vulgarities at you on the internet with anonymous account. Oh, I see, I see. I see. But like, let's say friends and family, like, mm. no, they don't do that. But they, I won't, I won't say my family is supportive. My, mm. but my friends expected it, oh. and my friends are on OF herself. So like, my best friend. So we are, we are there for each other. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So what are the highest points and lower, lowest points uh, in both your careers? Highest and lowest point? Um, mm. I think at the start, it's, I wouldn't say it's the lowest, but it's the most difficult. Mm. Because you have to build everything from scratch. And you don't know the industry, like be it nightlife, only fans, or even like the cosplay side, you don't know a lot of things. Mm. So it's always the hardest, and you, you don't get much money at the start. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But highest, I would honestly say, like, you know, right, right now is the best. I, I am happy, I'm really happy. Like, I'm happy to get so much opportunity. I'm happy to be flying, like, everywhere. Okay. I would say it's fun to, like, travel and to do everything all at one time. Mm. Like not only the contents, you get to meet like new people, mm -hmm. you, you get to go on stage, you know. What are some of the clubs you have played at? I've played at quite a few. Mm. Uh, clubs or festivals? like. Uh, any kind of like, you know, events? I think the most recent one is like Young Prism. And like, uh, these are some of the clubs. And I think I did an uh, event in Zook at the start of the year, so that's mm. the event night. I see, I see. But for festival, I did like Songkran Water Festival this year okay. and like quite a few overseas also. So those are really fun. Oh, it's very different. But for Singapore clubs, well. I also play in clubs and Siam Tiu, so it's quite a mixture. I see, yeah. I see, I see. So overseas clubs also, overseas events and festivals also. Yeah. So what's the difference you find over, you know, overseas and Singapore? I think because the country is bigger over there, like mm. it's more hyped up over there. Oh, uh, the people are crazier. Uh, like every country have their own culture, mm. but I like I like Taiwan club scene because there's a lot of hip hop. I see. I think it's something I don't get to play as much over here. I play a lot of hardstyle, but I try to mix in more hip hop over there. Mm. As in you will also try to understand uh, what the audience prefers. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, mix yeah. According to that. I think it's important to know like what the club want, what the people want, like what the audience want. Okay, so you really like makes you happy to see them like go crazy. Yeah. And, and then just yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see your it's, eyes. It's the up. best. Like it's it's so good. It's very good. Right? So have you uh compete and won any competitions like? No, I've not participated in any competitions mm. and like like the better DJs are really really good. I respect them. Mm. Yeah, but no, like I've not taken part in any competitions or actually compete. Mm. So is there any DJ currently that you look up to and you aspire to be? You mean like in Singapore or like um, globally? Globally, you know? I think there are too many that are really good. Mm. Like there are so many. Maybe just one idol or something like that, you know? I love all the bass DJs, so it'll be like maybe like Yellow Claw, uh, Kazo, Elenium, like or even like the hard style, like the hard style DJs. There are so many. Mm, okay. Why do you think? Why do you think some well-known uh, OF creators are turning into DJ? I think there are many who are going to DJs these days. Mm. Uh, even for like the the JAV porn star, I noticed like there are, there are a lot going to DJs also lately. Mm. I think it's good to put themselves out there and like it's a trend, it is a trend. For more exposure, like yeah. Okay. It's really good to put yourself out there and like on stage. Hmm. In person, live. Yeah, yeah. So so your audience can kind of see you uh, in person and get up close and personal. Yeah, that's that's more like human interaction if you get what I mean. Mm -hmm. Because OF is kind of... Uh, OF is very different, everything's on the internet. Yeah. But DJing is DJing. I would say like there are many influencers who go into DJ after a while also. Which mm -hmm. is, is two very different jobs. But for popular to, popular people who get into DJing, I think it's pretty common nowadays. Uh, why, why did you go into OnlyFans? At the start of COVID, like basically all the clubs in Singapore were shut down. So... Uh, all the nightlife was shut down, like there's mm. no job, like all of us stopped for a while. So at this point, like all my friends started going to OF and I was already doing like very sexy contents before that. So I decided to give it a try, I mean it's for money. Mm. As yeah. in you're, you're for saying money. sexy content is like for fun before that? Uh, own... For fun and for like paid shoots. Oh. So when you cosplay, like they do have like paid shoots where uh, like group shoots, the product shoot for you and you earn money. Okay, okay. But then, if let's say uh, COVID didn't happen, you would continue to do DJ, you wouldn't go into OF. I don't know, it's hard to say. It's, hard to say. it's actually hard to say. Okay. Yeah. But because you see some of your friends going into it, I thought, but I started out very slowly, so like when I'm comfortable with it, then I go into it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, where do you get your OF uh, you know, ideas, ideas for content? 
like how do you know? I follow like a lot of other creators and how like because I cosplay a lot, so I think my niche heavily like revolves around different type of cosplay costumes. I like all I like all the different type of costumes. So the costumes like um, those anime is it? Jet anime. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll find like different creators maybe on Twitter, or Instagram, and see like what contents they put out. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what are the one or two traits you think uh, is crucial to becoming an OF creator? I think you have to be very hardworking and be very shameless because there will be a lot of backlash. Okay. Yeah, there will be a lot of backlash. And like, when I say shameless, is you... And you have to be creative because mm, mm, mm. you have to keep putting yourself out there. You have to keep thinking of new ideas and not only on OnlyFans because you need to let um, like the social media traffic to roll into your platform. Yep. You have to put out a lot of reels on Instagram, Twitter mm, and mm, mm. all the other different social media to really promote yourself. Yeah, yeah. So, so when you receive the backlash, how do you deal with it mentally? And I think it feels bad sometimes where you mm. really have to like separate uh. yeah if it's constructive you take it but if it's not then don't put it too hard too much just kind of ignore it and yeah it's like white work. noises I see, I see. Mm. how long how long would you see yourself doing OF content mm. as long as I can mm. as long as I can which is roughly how long I don't know like as long as I can I feel like youth is very important so mm. while I'm still like while we are still young I want to make as much as I can and really save up the money See. So if your boyfriend, the Chen Hao Nan, come and you want to be your boyfriend but say hey, you must stop going. Cannot. 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 Right? cannot. But a lot of that too. Cannot. <laughs> cannot. Work is work. What right? is work? I feel like both OF or like um, DJing, like mm. maybe anything that has to do with entertainment in general. Like when you're young, you should earn as much as you can and like it's hard to do when you're older. Okay. Maybe got different audience like the mature lady group. Yes, it's true, but yeah. you should really do it when you're young. When you're older, you might not have even have the energy to jump on stage the whole night, you get what I mean? <laughs> the back pain, everything. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, that will be all today. And thank you very much, Sakura, for your time and hosting us at your place. Yeah, it was great uh, speaking with you and knowing a bit more uh, about yourself. Thank you for having me on board. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.